Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Daggerfall Unity. We're currently out here in the very dark night of Daggerfall with our ship overhead. Uh, I do apologize for the darkness, I know it's it's even worse on recordings than it actually is when I'm looking around in the game. Uh, but this episode, I thought that we would basically do some things around Daggerfall since we had to come back here for a tar Cartographer's Guild quest. Mainly, uh, if we take a look at our character sheet here, the... Knights of the Dragon is, of course, specific to Daggerfall, so we can only do quests for the Knights of the Dragon wall in Daggerfall. Um, each uh, sort of region has its own knightly order, and the Daggerfall order is the Knights of the Dragon. So that's what I thought we'd do wall in Daggerfall. I also was looking at Daedra Summoning Days, which we haven't done in a little while now, because we've spent a lot of time traveling around, so I figured maybe the calendar has progressed to a specific day that... Uh, a specific Daedra Summoning Day of Interest, and it turns out it has. In fact, it's a good thing I looked at the calendar because it's currently the 28th of Sun's Dawn. I believe next month is called First Seed, and the 5th of First Seed has a Daedra Summoning quest that has an artifact I'd very much like to collect, and that's going to be in seven days. So I think this is perfect timing for us to do, maybe do a Knights of a Dragon quest and then follow that up quickly uh, with a Daedra Summoning quest after that. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is go ahead, first of all, and rest for a night, because we have no mana or, uh, or energy. Our fatigue bar is so low we might actually collapse soon. So let's go ahead and find a tavern. There's one right up here to the north. And we will rest for the night, and then we will do a Knights of a Dragon quest in the morning. So let's get a room for just one day, and let's just rest until we're fully, fully healed for now, see what time that takes us to. It's currently 3.52 a.m. at night, so we are going to want to rest for another five hours or so. <laughs> okay. So, it is now the morning in Daggerfall. It's been a while since we've been here. This is the city of Daggerfall, right? Or, or no, it's not actually. This is not the, the main city of Daggerfall, so. <laughs> what city are we actually in right now? Longtree Field, I think, maybe? Launcher Field, right. Well, even though it's not the capital city, we could still make use of it. There's still a Knights of a Dragon here, so there's no reason we have to go to the capital specifically for any reason. So let's go to the Knights of a Dragon chapter in Longtree Field and get a quest. <laughs> because we recently installed a new mod pack, which you can find in the description below, the Forgotten Quest mod pack, I'm hoping that there's some that were knights, uh, knighthood quests that we can actually do. So I'm going to head into the Knights of a Dragon now, and let's see what they have on offer. Oh, it's right, right. Guilds don't open for another two hours, so we'll loiter for two hours. And here we go. I'm going to save the game, 8.17. And let's see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get Quest, and let's take a look at the list here. <laughs> Eternal Rest, that sounds new. Let's see what, uh, what the description is. This may be potentially nothing more than a simple poke around a tomb, but Barbara Buckington has asked us to investigate the resting place of her great-great-great-grandmother. Apparently, she had a dream that she had been brought back to life and would escape from the family bur burial mound in 41 days. Perhaps it is all perfect rot, but perhaps not. Will you inves investigate, Paladin? Now, if, if that requires us waiting 41 days, that's not going to be ideal. Um, because we need to head back to... Um, the chapter of the Cartographer's Guild back in another region within uh, the time frame for that quest. So I'm going to turn that down for the time being. Actually, should actually save the game here before we pick up any quest. Let's keep looking at the list of quests here. Um, the Royal Daedra, that sounds interesting. Hello, Paladin, I have work for you. What would you think if a Daedroth appeared in your house? Well, a certain household of nobles has this problem. We, being the champions of royalty, must do something of this. Would you be able to? That also sounds interesting. Um, not a quest that would probably be very time-consuming. Sounds like you just show up at a house and kill a daedra, potentially. Um, let's see what else there is. I just want to take a look at our options before we choose one in particular. Um, a Knight's Tale. That sounds interesting, too. We've been missing Dunnan Masterwing, one of our more veteran members, for several weeks now. No one makes of this order a nan nanny service, but we know he usually stops by a few times a month to see what problems he can resolve. Um, now only silence. We seek some capable attendant to find him and put our minds at ease. Will you do this, Titian? This actually sounds pretty interesting. Why don't we do this one? This sounds like the most interesting one so far. When I discharge the matter into your capable hands, look for him under every rock and in every cave you see. Find him in two months' time at the most. He and I have much to discuss, to debate, and to remember. Akatosh, go with thee. 
Hmm, that's interesting. So it doesn't really give you very much to go off there. Um, maybe the, the first thing to do would be to ask around town uh, about where he could potentially be. So let's start asking around town. Let's see, people. Is this the guy we're looking for? Wait, hold on. Uh, let's see, log. Rador Ashing has sent me to look for Dunnan Masterwing. Okay, so Dunnan Masterwing has not come up as a person here. Um... Dun and Master Wing, here we go. Oh yes, Dun and Master Wing went hunting in dungeons, I heard. He'll be back soon. I like how, how he says she says that, and now uh now she says she doesn't know anything about him. Okay, well dungeons, that's very non specific, you know what I mean? Uh I need to know which dungeon. There's many, many dungeons in Daggerfall. He could be in any of them. So it's a slight problem that uh I'm not being told more. Let's see. I wouldn't be called no gossip, but he's missing. Akadosh have mercy, he's a wonderful man. Okay. Uh, let's keep asking around. Maybe eventually we'll get a clue. Begging your pardon, Sir Titian, but most folk know Dun and Masterwing exercised some ghost over in Longtree Field last year. What? Okay. That's not very helpful at all. At all. Uh, let's see. Tell me about Dun and Masterwing. Awfully nice fellow. Rounded up my cattle, but you may already know that. Okay. Tell me about Dun and Masterwing. Well, you probably already know this. Dunnan Masterwing spends his holidays with Roderd Garecroft and Charlie. Okay, that, that's somewhat helpful. So, Roderd Garecroft, Charlie. Okay, let's head there. Find Charlie. It's quite a far, far distance. We need to keep in mind the dangerous summoning day is coming up soon. So, we need to do this relatively quickly if we can. Um, but let's save the game before we, we travel there. Uh, save game 819. And let's head there now. Charlie. Recklessly. Here we go. Rada. It's the first now. We need to remember that on the fifth we have a dangerous summoning quest to do. So we're looking for a Rodard Gearcroft, who apparently spends holidays with this individual. Let's see if we he appears in our people thing. He does. Jeez, this guy does not like me. We'll try switching our tone here. But yeah, just not working. This guy just does not take to us. Okay, that's fine. People, Roderick Gearcroft, southwest of here. Ashfield Residence is southwest. Okay. Did it get marked? Oh, wait, no. Can you please mark it on our map, ma'am? That would be wonderful. Okay, there we go. It's mar marked on our map by spamming uh, spamming her with questions. We finally got her to mark it. Perfect. Okay. The Ashfield Residence looks like this right here. Hopefully this guy will have some useful info for us. Hello, sir. Is this the is this the person in question? Uh, I think it's that person, probably. I'm gonna save the game before we talk to him. Hello. Yes, Dunn and Masterwing is my cousin. I've been worried sick for the past several weeks. It's not like to be gone, like him to be gone so long, especially with all the help I need here. If something happened to him, I wouldn't survive the shock. My thought is that he found something in the Citadel of Hawksley that interested him enough to make him stay. He's cleansed its several times over the last few years, so I know he's not in any danger. If Rotor Ashing wants to look for him, I say go there first. Okay, the Citadel of Hawksley. So that's the place we're being recommended to check out. So let's see how far away that is. The Citadel of Hawksley. Pretty close by. I think we're, we're happy to go there. It's only one day. Let's go ahead and head there now. Okay, here's the Citadel of Hawksley. Uh, now, if you'll remember, one of the reasons that we had gone to um, the other regions was that we kept getting repeat dungeons in Daggerfall, so I hope this isn't a place we've been already. I don't immediately recognize it, but of course, dungeon exteriors often look similar, so... Let's see. Human. The Citadel of Hawksley appears to have been taken over by orcs. They waste no time asking for questions to begin their attack. Okay. So that is a Warm Ashes encounter, so we're about to fight an army of orcs, pretty much. So, uh, to prepare for that, I'm going to go ahead and throw on all of our relevant... Uh, equipment here. Let's see, is there anything else we need to throw on? I think that's everything. I'm so used to putting on more because I used to have two enchantments that separately did these things, but I have this one thing now that does both. Uh, I think that's everything, yeah? I mean, we can always use this ebony blade if needed. Um, what else? Okay, I think that's everything we need to fight. Here we go. Where are the orcs? There they are. Of course, we're mowing through them very fast with our Daedric. Uh, orcs are not very strong. 
I've noticed compared to humanoids. The enemy is surprised by your prowess, they call for reinforcements. This is actually one of my favorite War Mashes encounters, partially because it just gives you an incredible amount of loot. Because look at how many people we're killing. One good thing to use during this, uh, this sort of time period is a fireball spell, because look how much damage that does. Holy crap. Release the beast. The sound of metal rattling can be heard. One of his soldiers can be seen on top of a cage, releasing the latch on a door. Out the cage comes what seem to be tamed animals. Okay, hold on. I need to heal myself here and get out of that. Out of that water. It's really holding me back. Okay. Now the magic actually does quite a lot more damage than the uh, the melee fighters. I'll take the mage out first if I can. Heal me. Okay. After the bodies of the orcs fill up the lands, the leader busts down the door of the keep. Filthy human, I will peel the flesh off your bone. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I'm going to try and take out that mage in the back there. Let's drag him out a little bit. The leader's a little bit tough, tougher, but not much. Orsinium will never fit the last words of the commander before he collapsed. You've won a victor victory over the citadel of Hawksley. Orsinium, that's the region where the orcs uh, reside. We've been there quite a, a bit to talk to Gortwig and do his quest. Uh, the remaining orcs will still attack, but without their leader, they will not have the manpower to remain at this keep. They will soon disperse to leave in failure. After scavenging the bodies, you take your earnings. 8,000 gold. Love it. And we're about to loot all these bodies, and uh, I'm sure they're going to have a ton of loot for us. Okay, we took him out. Is there one? There's one more left. Let's get rid of this guy, and then we can finally loot these bodies. Oh my goodness, this is... Uh... Not the best situation. Okay, wonderful. So let's go ahead and start looting all these bodies, see what they have in them. <clears throat> the money we're going to get actually is going to take up a lot of inventory space, which does kind of suck, but we can just throw all of this stuff we get straight into our wagon, pretty much. I'm going to make sure to loot every body here. Ooh, an enchanted longbow. That should be interesting. Of course, we haven't really been using bows, so we might as well just sell, honestly, without even seeing the enchantment. Although, for pure curiosity, we could look at it. Okay, an enchanted short tunic. Uh, that actually could be useful. We'll have to make sure to look at that. I love seeing the Daedric. The spiders usually will not have loot on their bodies. Alright, let's keep looting here. Potion recipes, kind of useless since we never ever end up using potions. And we're going to have to transfer all this stuff into our wagon. Let's start doing that now. And again, this is a this is the Keeps uh, module of the Warm Ashes mod, which the Warm Ashes mod apparently is going to have an update uh, relatively soon. I'm not sure when exactly. The, the, the mod creator is definitely working on it, and uh, he's going to switch, uh, switch the form of it from being a, a quest pack to being basically just saying you can adjust the modules on using Daggerfall Unity, which is going to make it a lot more convenient to use for sure. So I'm very excited for that update. I have no idea when that's coming. Last I know, the, the, the creator of the mod is uh, was working on the new update for the Villager Immersion Overhaul mod, uh, which I've previewed before um, through this Let's Play. Okay. Keep going. Uh, let's go ahead and drop everything into our cart, which is going to get pretty full, actually even though we haven't even entered the dungeon yet. Okay. One enchanted ring as well. There's a lot of enchanted items on these orcs. They do like to hoard things. An enchanted, or a, a Daedric longsword right there. Can we search that body over there? Not sure if we have. Let's find out. We have not. An enchanted priest robe. I don't know if we're getting more enchanted items just randomly, or if it's because of um, the fact that we're higher level, a higher level now, so enchanted items appear more often. It's probably that. Keep looting. And the last body right here. I think, oh, a Daedric Daikatana. Beautiful. That's actually really, really good. That means we can enchant uh, one of these with stuff once our Ebony Blade loses uh, or wears out, I guess you could say. Um, okay, I think we've, we've looted everything there. So before we actually go in, just for fun, why don't we identify... Hmm. 
the short tunic. Can I identify more than one thing at once? Let's find out. Oh, I identified all of them. That's beautiful. Toxic clouds. Okay, so this throws out toxic clouds. That's sort of like fireball. fireball. Somewhat useful. The robes. Um, you shock. That's not very useful. Ring of friendship. Charisma. That's actually very useful. I, I believe charisma improves personality. So we already have something that does that, but it's good to have a backup. And then good luck. This enhances jack of trades. Um, that actually could be... Uh, that's potentially useful. We already have an item that does jack of trades plus orc strength. But these are not bad finds. Um... That's all pretty good stuff. So we're going to keep all of that. And I'm going to go ahead and just throw that stuff right into our wagon. We want to free up as much inventory space as possible, of course, before we enter this dungeon. So I'm going to throw all the stuff in the wagon. Uh, the one magic item I do want to keep out is our ebony blade, and we might as well start using that. I mean, we did do that dangerous summoning quest, so I'd like to make it be worthwhile. Use it for a reason, right? Uh, I'm going to heal ourselves up real quick. And actually, I guess we should rest until fully healed before we enter this dungeon. Okay. And now we can hop into the dungeon. And holy crap, it is dark. Cannot see anything. We're going to do that. We're going to set a recall spell and anchor right here. We're going to save the game. 821. I believe we are ready to start looking around here. Have we been here before? I recognize like the this structure where there's a there's a log right at the start of the dungeon. I feel like we've done a dungeon like that pretty recently, but I could be wrong. So we're looking for a lost knight, I believe. So we'll keep our eyes peeled for that. And I guess while I walk around I'll talk about oh there's a secret door right here. I think. Let me see. Yep, there is. I just missed it. It's right along here somewhere. <clears throat> I'll talk about some of the things I've th been thinking about with regards to Daggerfall recently. Um, because one of the things I've been thinking about is the amount of factions in this game uh, compared to later Elder Scrolls games. It is pretty extraordinary how massive uh, Daggerfall is, and one of the big things is the amount of factions. <clears throat> but I thought... You know, one of the things about Daggerfall factions is that while there's a lot of them, more than in all, all the other Elder Scrolls games, at least for the ones past Arena, I'm not sure if Arena had more or less factions than Daggerfall. Um, is this door already open? Have we already been in here? Why is this door already open? I feel like we've already been in here. Dude, this is why I, I left this region. <laughs> Damn. But the thing is, to do Knights of a Dragon quest, we have to be in this region. Uh... But it looks like we've already been in here by the fact that all these doors are open. Well, I'm just going to start sprinting around and looking for uh, this knight, if we can find him anywhere in here. Uh, as I was saying, one of the things about Daggerfall factions is that some of them are sort of repeats. So right, there's, there's many knight, knight, knighthood factions, but they all have the same quests and the same layout, generally speaking. Um, let's see, I'm just checking up here. Doesn't appear to be anything there. Okay. So while it seems like there's many factions in a way, there's less than you might think. Now, on the other hand, there are unique things about each faction. So for instance, with the temples, even though the temples have a lot of repeat quests, there are unique quests to each temple. In addition to there being unique quests to each temple, different temples have different layouts and designs. You know, uh, if you walk into, I forget which temple it is, but the temple, uh, there's one temple that has basically a bunch of naked people uh, inside of it. Uh, and then there are other temples... Sorry for the brief cut in the video there. Uh, anyways, I was talking about how, yeah, the temples in Daggerfall also, they offer different services depending on what temple you are uh, looking at or en entering into. You know, there's Daedra summoning offered only in certain temples. So even though some of the differences between all the factions are surface level, there are some deeper uh, aesthetic differences. There's definitely a lot of thought put into making each faction feel at least somewhat unique. Uh, I guess with the temples more so than the Knight Orders. Now, this is annoying, right? Because we've already been here, uh, and we're trying to look for a quest objective, but it is a little bit boring when there is no, or there are no clear enemies around really to fight off, which is exactly why I left Daggerfall, as I said earlier. So, but we'll keep looking. I'm sure we'll find this Knight eventually. He has to be hidden in here somewhere. 
And I wonder why we keep, because I know there's lots and lots of dungeons in Daggerfall. I wonder why we keep getting back to the same, set back to the same ones. Could it be that, uh, is there a secret door back there? Oh, there is. Uh, could it be that there's like a set of dungeons that are more likely to get picked for quests than other ones? Or something like that? Hey, we haven't been in here, I guess. There's a dead ghost right there. Uh, and we'll check if there's any more secret doors here. But if there's not, I'm going to go down one level. And there's a ghost right here. That teleporter doesn't bring us anywhere, I believe. At least the map isn't saved, so we can keep track of where we've already been uh, at this particular time in which we're exploring the dungeon. I'm going to go down one more level. I don't think we've been down here yet. We have been down here. Okay, uh, oh, there's a there's a door. Let's see. We've definitely been through that door right there. But we haven't been through this door and right to the left. So we'll start exploring up here now. Is this new? This is all new up here. Okay, good. Oh, wait. This isn't new, though. We've been here. Okay, so that's not new. But this side over here is new, I believe. Yet yeah, there is no one here. Now, I wonder if this could potentially be a, a false positive, meaning that there isn't actually anything in here. You know, it could be a false lead, uh, this particular dungeon. That is possible, but getting sent here for no reason would kind of suck. Um, we will keep looking. Trying to see any potential doors leading off of places. Um, it might actually be good at this point to teleport back to the dungeon entrance. That could help us find things. Let's see if we've not explored somewhere clearly off the dungeon entrance. Let's see. I actually do think we've... It might be counterproductive. Let's see. Oh, I, I think I see a path we haven't been on yet. If we go turn around and go straight up. If we go right out here and then straight up and around this roundabout, that will bring us to a place we have not yet been. Yeah, this is all new up here. And I forget what quest... What If someone remembers what quest we were in this dungeon for, let me know. I remember being in this exact dungeon uh, pretty recently, actually, but I don't remember what the quest was that we were doing. I know it was recent, though. Um, not seeing anyone obviously here. We've been in here already. Um, Alright, well, let's hold on. Before we go down there, there is a place we haven't been, but let's keep going around this corner. And this is all new up here for sure, so... This is fine to look around. Looking for any sign of a knight. A missing knight. Now we've gone to a place we've been again. Kind of unfortunate. I wonder what this lever does. I guess we should pull this lever. Okay. Oh, there's a vampire here. I'm going to take you out real quick. Nice to actually see an enemy in this dungeon. And, okay, let me turn the light on here. And where are we right now? Okay, so we haven't gone down here, down this direction yet. And there's two ghosts. And look at that. There, That must be the knight right there. Okay, now, this is funny. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same location that the other quest objective was when we went into the Citadel of Hawksley uh, last. So I, the quest objectives get placed in the same place? Because I'm pretty sure there was a giant in here that we killed. And he dropped the item that we were looking for. It was some sort of uh, artifact. I forget what it was exactly. That's funny that he was found here, though. Yes, I am done in Master Wing. Thank Akatosh that Ro Rotor Ashing sent someone to look for me. I feared I would never come free. Let us go. I will follow your lead. So that is that is pretty interesting that 
not only were we sent to the same place, but the, the quest objective was in the exact same place as before. I'm, I'm certain that that's where the other quest objective was too. Um, which tells us something about how Daggerfall spawns or puts in quest items, I guess. It's not totally random. Because it would be too much of a coincidence for the quest objective to have spawned in that exact same location twice. Or at least it would be quite odd if that did happen. So there's a little ghost down here. I'll take him out before we go. Uh, now we can just teleport back to the entrance uh, of the dungeon after resting, so let's do that. Um, we can just use the, our recall spell and teleport. And there's another vampire here. I wonder if this vampire is associated with the quest, because another one spawned as well when we were looking for him. Um, okay. Now, let's see. Uh, first of all, let's remove our enchanted items so we don't degrade. I'm going to throw everything we got recently into our wagon, including these pants. Uh, okay. And I think we're ready to travel back to Laundry Field to return this guy to his, his friend. Okay, so uh, back to Laundry Field we go. I'm going to save the game before we actually travel. So let's find Laundry Field. Okay, here we are in Laundry Field, ready to return this quest. Let's check what day it is. It is currently the 4th of 1st Seed. Perfect. So in one day, tomorrow will be the Daedra Summoning Day for an artifact and a quest that I'd very much like to do. So this actually sets up, uh, us up perfectly for next episode. We'll we'll leave this episode with having done that Knights of a Dragon quest. Again, I'm sorry it was kind of boring because we'd already been to that dungeon. This is exactly why I've tried to travel to a new region. Uh, I did want to come back here and do some quests for the Knights of a Dragon because there's ones we haven't done yet. But we're kind of in a hard place, right? Because we can't do Knights of a Dragon quests outside of Daggerfall. And at the same time... Uh, if we do them inside of Daggerfall, we end up getting these repeat dungeons that are very boring to go to. Um, so maybe we should do non-dungeon quests from now on. That would resolve the problem. We'll do all the non-dungeon quests we can for the Knights of a Dragon. Um, and that should help. So here is the Guild Hall. Excuse me. Excuse me there. Okay. So we can go ahead and return the quest. Or not. I'm not sure why I can't talk to him. Hmm, that is strange. I thought, surely that's all we have to do to return the quest, right? Hmm. This is quite odd. Maybe I have to go back to his cousin? We have to go back to his cousin? I guess we should load the game. Okay, let's let's try actually going back to his cousin. I think that's probably not what you have to do, but or else it's glitched in some way, I guess. Um, where was he again? He was saying something with a C. I forget which which town he was at. Um, let's see if we can find it. It was nearby. It was over here somewhere. Let's see. Get rid of this and only look at towns. Something with a C over in this area. I'm sure it was Charlie or something like that. Chadley. Something along those lines. Damn, maybe I have a history of dialogue. Let's see. Uh, if I go to my log, my dialogue notes. The most recent dialogue notes. Oh, it's going to take me a while to get all the way down there, though. Holy crap. Wait, this is finished quests. I want my notebook. Okay, this this is not helping. Let's just search CH. Charlie, I think that was it. Yeah, that was that was almost certainly it. Let's head there. Okay. So I hope that it's not bugged and we can actually return it by talking to his cousin here. Because um, if it is bugged, that would kind of suck. It would make more sense that we return it to the Knights of a Dragon guy, but I guess it's possible we could return it to the individual in here too. Let's find out. Nope, I, when I talk to him nothing happens either. Okay, so that's a problem. It appears that the quest is bugged in some way because what else would I have to do other than just return to 
the Knights of a Dragon chapter I got this from and talk to the quest giver. We'll head there one more time and try, I suppose. So other than the fact that this quest is bugged, I didn't think it was a pretty cool quest. The fact that you had to explore around a bit before you actually found the quest objective was pretty nice. But it does kind of suck that it appears that the quest just is bugged. And actually, it's the 6th now, uh, so we can't actually even use the save. So we're going to have to reload the save and just travel straight back to Longtree Fields. Hold on. Okay, here we go. All right, so there is one potential solution, I think, which I think it is possible that we could set the status of the quest to completed using uh, a console command. I think that is possible. Uh, we'll look into that in a second. Let's just head back to the Knights of a Dragon real quick before we do that. Um, I mean, I, I don't see any reason why it would work this time when we load this save, but we are going to find out. And this is a, I think this is a mod associated with a quest pack, so... It could just be that the this, the particular quest pack just has mod, you know bugs uh, in those quests. It's one of the newer quest packs that's been released, so it probably hasn't been thoroughly checked for bugs yet. It could also just be a problem with our save, but let's see what happens. Um, yeah, he doesn't he doesn't talk to us. Okay, so if we go here and we do help, let's see if there's a command we could use to actually set the status of this quest to done. Um, Let's see, I'm not seeing anything obviously right now, but we'll keep looking. Ends quest. Is there a way to end the quest, but also give us like the messages if we finished it successfully? I, I'm really not sure. Uh, but I guess uh, I'll go ahead and investigate this uh, in between this episode and next one to not bore you with any details of looking through what the console does or how to potentially end the quest like that. Um, if, if it doesn't work for any reason we can just end the quest manually it kind of sucks that we have to uh you know not actually have completed this quest successfully but that's how it is sometimes because Daggerfall is still slightly buggy even though there's always improvements with unity um so what we'll do next time is i'll let you know what i figured out with regards to you know the status of this quest and then we will do the daedra summoning quest which will be happening on the 5th which is tomorrow so i hope you all enjoyed this episode and that's what we'll be doing next time so i will see you then